right, we're here on the beautiful Gold Coast, Australia, with none other than uh, the young champion himself, Kai Lenny, straight from Maui. Welcome to Australia, Kai. You're here on a bit of a whirlwind tour. How's it been so far? Oh yeah, super stoked to be in Australia now because uh, you know we've been having such good surf at home and so many races. It's nice to change it up and come down here and visit uh, some of the shops and visit some of the fastest paddlers around. So I'm stoked to be down here. This place is this place is gorgeous. Absolutely. Now, uh, you're just coming straight off the back of some pretty incredible results lately. You, uh, you took out the Stand Up World Series finals and the overall title at Turtle Bay, beating some uh, pretty impressive paddlers, namely your uh, arch rival, Connor Baxter. Tell us about that win you had a couple of weeks ago in Turtle Bay. How did it feel? Oh, the, the Turtle Bay event was, it was so much fun. That race was one of the funnest races I did all year, which made it easier for me to really want to push myself harder and try to um, try to win the event. Um, I, you know, the, it was kind of sketchy because the week before I had, you know, we had such good Jaws. Jaws was insane. Some of the best it's ever been. And uh, I was, you know, contemplating. I'm like, oh, well, I have a world title on the line. I should probably not go out there. And But I ended up going out to Jaws and surfing like seven hours, two days in a row and having some of the best ways of my life. But then getting to the race and kind of feeling tired and going, oh, man it was worth it. And I kind of used that jaws session as my motivation when I went racing because, um, the first race when we did the downwinder, um, Connor went out the gates and Andrew LaGreco like bolted and they were like 200 yards in front of me. And I was like in the dust going, Oh my gosh, what am I going to do? You know, like I'm actually kind of feeling tired and, um, I got to catch these guys. Like it was weird because for me, like, something inside me said there's I can't see myself getting third place like I just couldn't see myself getting third place it was so weird that like I just started paddling and I caught them and ended up beating them on the like on the course and uh, I was like kind of use that jaws session mentally to be stoked you know like well if I could handle jaws I could handle this flat water paddle sort of thing and um and the next day when we did the sprint through the waves was crazy because the waves were like double overhead and um, on race boards, so like race boards, you're just taking off on these bombs. And it was weird because you could like be so far ahead and then all of a sudden everyone's right there again. On the last lap of the, uh, the final, I had a pretty good lead and I just missed out on this little wave that could have gotten me to the finish, no problem. And then all of a sudden around the corner you had, you know, guys like Casper, Zane and, um, and Slater coming around and it was like, oh, well, it's going to come down to a sprint race. And that's what I think made the race so exciting was because for me, it really took a lot of, um, a lot of mental, um, a lot of mental ability to just win that more than physical. And, uh, I was so stoked. That was probably the best week of my life because, you know, in the beginning of the week, Monday, I turned 20 in the, um, my surf jaws two days in a row, some of the best ways of my life. Um, went to Turtle Bay, won the downwind race and the sprint race and got the world title and had an epic surf session on the North Shore the next day. So it was like, I don't even know how to explain it. I'm, I'm still stoked on it. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a bit of fun. Now, uh, speaking of surfing, you're into quite a few sports out in the ocean. You got the, uh, the surfing, the uh, windsurfing, kite surfing. You're out at Jaws a lot, charging. Uh, obviously, you're the two-time stand-up paddle surfing world champion. Why do you uh, like stand-up paddle racing? It was funny because last year, if you were to ask me, are you going to ever do stand-up racing? I'm like, yeah, I will, but probably later on. Because like, I was like, man, stand-up racing, that's gnarly because you know, you're know, you paddling just flat out in flat water usually. And even if it's downwind, it's not real, really like real consistent waves. And it's like, I didn't see why it was fun. And then I was seeing all my friends doing really well. I was seeing Slater Trout doing really well, seeing Connor Baxter doing really well. And um, I just kind of got inspired by them. I was like, man, these guys are really killing it. And it, they're making it look like a lot of fun. And then, you know, I'm watching guys like Danny Ching and, you know, Travis and like basically all these legends in the sport just killing it. And I'm like, well, you know, I want to just do it for the training aspect. It can't hurt, you know, and you know, I'm going to go into this battle, the paddle, which was the, uh, this last year, um, the one before last, uh, and just go, you know what, however well I do, that's how hard I'll push to 
continue doing it. Like if I get like 15th or something, you know, whatever, it'll be fun, but no, no pressure. I might not even do it. But then I had a pretty good result. I got like fifth place and that was just straight out of, I was in Europe for about a month doing windsurfing. I'm like, wow, I might be able to do all right in this. So I'm going to, next year I want to train and, and see where I'll end up. And so then this year came around and I was having so much fun doing it. Like it was just another perspective of the ocean because I'm so used to just getting waves and waiting for waves and kind of like, you know, with the wind, you using different equipment for that certain thing. But I never actually went into the ocean, like going into flat water thinking, man, that's really good looking flat water right there. You know what I mean? Like seeing a lake or seeing just a flat body of water and thinking, man, I want to paddle through that because it just looks fun. Um, and so when I did it, it was kind of like um, my other sports in my mind, the best way I can describe is like, you know, going windsurfing to me is like, I think about motocross and the tricks you can do motocross. And then when, you know, surfing is surfing, obviously, and kite surfing is like wakeboarding mixed with surfing and you have those. And then well, racing allowed me to really, um, and stand up paddling really allowed me to, uh, to get into like the cycling mindset, you know, like how cyclists do it or gnarly runners or, um, just kind of like endurance athletes, you know, the iron man and, in, you don't realize it, but like after every paddle session I did downwind or flat water, I was like, felt empowered afterwards. I felt good, like physically felt good. And after I did a lot of training and was having a lot of fun with it, I was in the best shape of my life. And I was, you know, I'm like, I don't want to lose this. Like I want to just, the reason why I want to keep doing stand racing is because I want to just be as physically fit as I can, because I can't imagine not being as physically fit as I was, you know what I mean? So it's like, Stand-up racing for me is was purely out of not that I wanted to just try to win another aspect of SUP. It was more kind of a something that just like a little passion that turned into something more. And I was like, man, I'm really having fun with this. Like, this is really cool. So stand-up racing, every race I do, usually, you know, it's mentally very tough, especially when you're really pushing for first place. You know, the best is when you come to the beach and you just feel so physically good and it's just another feeling I never had before. So stand-up racing is, uh, I think, more passion than anything for me at this point. It's just cool to see another side of stand-up paddling. And racing, you know, everyone is so into racing. It, it really is a lot of good energy. So I was just like, man, this is awesome. I love the feeling of just being around this energy. In my mind, I already know where I'm going to be able to be by next Battle of Paddle, which will be in Rio. What do I think about drafting? Well, I really like drafting, actually. I think it would be amazing to have stand-up paddling in the Olympics. I think 